What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mix here, and today I bring you some sub terrors. That's right. This deck has a special place in my heart. Um I've been, you know, trying to play them ever since they came out in the TCG. Unfortunately, they're not that great, them being flip effects and big monsters and hard to summon, but um, you know, we try to make it work and uh no dragoon as well. So this is no dragoon. This is I'm trying to make this as pure as possible. So yeah, let's get into the deck profile. All right, here we are with the deck profile. We play one a Subterra Behemoth Ultra Mathis. Um, this guy, when he's flipped face up, you can flip everything face down, basically. Um, and all big Subterras are when they're flipped face up and you control no face up monsters, you can reveal it in your hand and special summon it. Uh, we play one a Subterra Behemoth Speedio Geist. Um, this guy, you can target one um, monster on the field and change it up to face up attack position if it's face down defense position and its attack becomes zero then we play double lord of the heavenly prison during your main phase you can activate this effect this card in your hand becomes revealed until the end of your opponent's turn and while this card's revealed uh your set cards on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects so you know it's a uh, it's protection for all your face down cards then if a set spell trap card is activated you can special summon this card then you can set one spell or trap from your deck um, and then it's uh, banished during the end phase of the next turn. So not only is it a protection, but it's a searcher and it's a big body on board. We play two. Uh, we play one subterra behemoth Salagmo. Uh, when you flip it, you discard a subterra card and draw two cards. Um, one subterra behemoth Umastrix. This is a target a monster on the field and banish it. Uh, then one subterra nemesis warrior this guy I had been going back and forth playing multiples or one um, But I decided to go on one because number one. He's not a flip effect monster So he can't put himself face down number two You have to retribute two monsters in order to summon one big one. So that's kind of uh, That's kind of a tough one and number three he revives himself from the grave So if I get him into grave then he keeps coming back. So one's good uh, Triple subterra guru. This guy is the heart and soul of the deck um if you have another sub terror on the field quick effect you can book a moon itself and an opponent then you can when it's fifth face up you can search a sub terror card uh one a sub terror nemesis archer um this deck we want to put as much things face down so when you attack a monster that's face down in defense position it just sends it to the deck no no damage step right in just sends it to the deck then we play triple deaths uh lakuda we needed something else to get our sub terrors going so this one can flip itself face down and when you flip it face up you draw a card so that's really good uh double ash ash uh triple sub terror fiendus this card can flip itself uh face down um and that's another uh hand trap where if your opponent activates anything you can discard it target a sub terror flip it face down and the effect is negated uh triple pot of prosperity uh we need to dig for our field spell one reasoning all these different levels so it's a really good card one terraforming definitely need our field spell uh double triple tactics talent um you know one effect veiler or one ash and we're we're screwed so i figure you know uh help us draw more uh double book of moon we want to control when we flip our own monsters face down for this next card sunset beat if a face up monster you control is change the face down defense position you can target one card in the field and destroy it so that's why we need um Guru is a good one, and Book of Moon is a good one on your opponent's turn, so you can pop a card. But not only that, when a monster is flipped face up, you can um, you can target it and inflict 200 times damage for its level. So it not only does burn damage, but it's it's uh, field removal as well. So it's two cents. It beat Triple in City. When this card's activated, you can add a sub terror monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can change one of your face down sub terror monsters to face up. And then when your opponent attacks and you control a face down sub terra monster, you can flip it face up and negate the attack. So, um, Hidden City is very important. Uh, we play Triple Destructive Karma Cannon. Uh, this card is nuts. It's it's one of the best trap cards in the game. Um, basically, it's a Book of Eclipse for everything. And then for the Link monsters, it just sends them to the graveyard. It's it's so it's so good. It's so good. Triple imperm because imperm and last but not least double sub terra final battle. This literally does everything. Um this was a last dish effort from Konami to try to fix the archetype because they didn't think of 
how hard it's going to be. So this literally does everything that the archetype needs. Uh, for the extra deck, you can kind of play with the extra deck however you want. But I went double unicorn, triple behemoth Phoenix. You don't really summon this, but it's a sub -terror. Uh Double Phoenix, one Earth Charmer, one Dark Charmer, double Cerberus, double Mrs. Radiant, and double Barricade Board Blocker to get back Hidden City from your graveyard. But again, you can play with the extra deck however you want. It's basically Pot of Prosperity Fun. But yeah, let's get into some duels. So here we go. We play Pot of Prosperity. This is what we vanished. You know, nothing useful. Um, we activate Hidden City, search up Terra Fiendness, summon this Lakuda, and right here, we leave the Ultra Mophis face up because we want to uh, have the Fiendness be live. And we have the Daramaka Cannon and the Subterra Final Battle to flip this uh, face up. So, our opponent is playing the Ragna Rika, the new archetype, which is fun. So, they're doing their thing. I'm over here, flip everything face down. Then they summon something else. Then I play the Darumaka Cannon, and then that's it. Everything they have is face down. What a good top deck right here. I top deck uh, Nemesis Archer, so I get to take everything back. Uh, Deslacuda, get another Darumaka Cannon. So here we go. Ultra Mafus, flip everything face down, summon. I'm going to send that to Grave. I'm going to attack, attack that, and then flip the Ultra Mafus face down, and then another Darumaka Cannon. So they're doing their shenanigans. The Rock and Rikas are a pretty interesting deck because they they have a lot of grave revival, which is which is which is great, I think. So yeah, they summon their big dude here. They summon their big dude here, Ragnarika Chain Calls. It was 3200, but again, Darumaka can too strong, and they summon the seed again. So I'm just gonna flip this face down and just like just stop them. And I see, look, they summon again, and they have a lot of um. They have a lot of, uh, you know, recursion from the graveyard. So they summoned back the big guy, but I was able to negate their effect, which is amazing. So now I draw. They try to destroy my set spell, so I sub -terra Phoenix. I draw a card. Here we go. Put everything face down. And here I'm, I here I misplayed. I should have summoned the Ultra or the Monstrix from my hand. But, you know, I kind of got distracted by the Ragnarika. But anyway, it's still okay. Summon the attack. Now he summons the seed again, seed searches, special summon that from the grave, special summon that from the grave, summons another big one. So yeah, the, the, the Ragnarikas can definitely get some board presence. So see, he's just, and then, so they, they just link up, link up, link up, link up, and this uh, negates my, uh, my effect. So I got popped, but now I get to summon another one. So I summon, um, Guru, here we go. Summon Deslacuda for the draw. Activate Sunset Beat. Boom. Special summon here. So I flipped face down this. The Sunset Beat's effect activates. I destroyed their Ragnarika Bloom because I can get with I can get rid of their big monster with the Umastrix. So the Umastrix effect. Here I use the I use Hidden City to flip Umastrix face up. Target this to banish. Sunset Beat did 1400 points of damage. Banish that flipped and then he just scooped so yeah as you can see this deck uh when it gets going it can definitely be nasty nasty and short option again again you want to go first um but yeah i love this deck it's so much fun definitely definitely check it out whenever you can but don't forget to comment like subscribe it's your boy mix signing off thanks again